Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I would like to go into detail about a very important and severe topic. It is of the limbs account on Yom al Qiyamah. Firstly, let's start uh, with a hadith. The blessed Ashab narrate that one day while they were in the blessed company of the Holy Prophet, he began to smile very broadly. He then asked us, Do you know why am I smiling? We replied, Allah and His Prophets Allah and His Prophet know better. He then explained, when a person starts to argue with his creator on the day of judgment and says, O oh Allah, did you not protect me against oppression? Then Allah will, rep will reply, yes. The person will, th will then say, if this is the case, I, I am not prepared to accept the testimony of anyone against me. I only accept, I only accept my own body and everyone else is my enemy. The, then Allah will declare this testimony of his person's body is fine and the testimony of the angel is also fine at the moment the person's tongue will be sealed and his body will be told oh the body of this person become a witness to yourself and inform us what you used to do these limbs will then give testimony to what what he had done the tongue of this person will then be released and he will scold his limbs by saying may you be cursed you yourself have become my enemy I was trying to save you and protect you, and because of you, I was seeking another evidence. Sahih, Mah Sahih Muslim. This is exactly what will happen to a person refu who refuses to accept and acknowledge his sins and transgressions. Now let's look at some Quranic verses. In Surah Yasin, verse 65, the, the Quran declares, الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ عَلَىٰ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَا أَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَشْحَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ this day we will set a seal on their mouth and their hands will speak out to us and their feet will bear witness to their deeds. In Surah Nur, verse 24, the Quran declares, يَوْمَ تَشْحَدُ عَلَيْهِمُ سِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيَهُمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ On the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will truly testify against them regarding what they used to do. Subhanallah, from these verses we can tell we should do good works with our body in order to be saved <coughs> and in order for them to say good about us. Now let's look at some more hadith. Hadrat uh, Sayyidina Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah pleased with him, narrates that when they were returning after reaching the ocean, the Holy Prophet asked them to reveal an unusual incident which they had seen. A young man stood up and said, one day we were sitting at that place when an old female was among the females of their priests was walking with the container of water on her head. One of the young men, men bumped into this lady and the container fell from her head and broke. She then looked at this person and said, Mischievous person, you will come to know the result of this action when Allah Almighty will place forward his divine throne and gather the past and present and the hands and feet of the people who bear testimony and every single action will be revealed and on that day a decision will be made about us. When the Holy Prophet wasallam heard these words, he replied, She has spoken the truth. She has spoken the truth. How can a nation be spared who do not give the oppressed their right? This hadith is found in Tabarani al Aswat. When it is also reported that on the day of judgment, when a person meets the Creator, he will be asked, Oh, so and so, did I not give you respect in the world? Did I not give you leadership or stature? And did I not give you horses, give you horses and camels? Did I not give you property and a good life? The slave will answer, O oh my Lord, I have bought Iman on you, on your books and your messengers. I performed Salah, I kept fast and gave charity. He will also claim that according to his means, he did good deeds. Allah Almighty will then declare, very soon this will be found out. The person will then be informed that very soon evidence and testimony will be presented against him. The person will wonder who are those and who will bear testimony against him. Thereafter, his mouth will be sealed, and his thighs, his flesh, and his bones will be whole to reveal the truth. His This will be done in the manner that his body itself becomes a testimony against himself. 
The name of every person will bear witness against him from the tip of their hair until his toenails. Everything will be a witness against a person. It is through the testimony that is given by the limbs that a person would become entitled for Jannah or not. The limbs of a sinner will reveal the sins of a person, and the lips of a true be believer will reveal the good deeds of a person. This is the reason that the Holy Prophet wasallam has mentioned that we should save our limbs from the fire of hell, and we should use our fingers to read the tasbih, so that these limbs can give testimony for you on the Day of Judgment. The Holy Prophet wasallam has stated that, you should make it necessary upon you to recite the tasbih, the tahleel, and the taqdeed, and count this with your fingertips, because it will be questioned. It also be asked to give answers, and do not become oblivious to this, and do not forget the divine mercy of Allah Almighty. This, this hadith is found in Tirmidhi. Thus, to conclude, we must use our body and our limbs in a rewarding manner for it to benefit us on that day. The day our tongues will be sealed. The day our own parents will leave us out due to their own worry. The only thing we will have are our good deeds, good or our good deeds or our bad deeds. Let us be of those who have more good deeds and tawab on Yom Al Qiyamah. Amin. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.